Let's get ready to Mumble. Mumble is an awesome free open source program that lets you chat with your gaming friends. But even though the program is free, you still need a server. You can actually rent professional servers for as little as six cents a slot per month. Uh, but if you don't want to shell out the big bucks <laughs> for a server, then let's go ahead and make one. There are two ways to do this. The first is DHCP reservation. So we need our MAC address. We go to System Preferences, we go to Wi-Fi, we go Advanced, we click Hardware, and I've blocked mine out, but you want to copy your MAC address, and then you want to paste it somewhere so that you can reference it later. Next, we're going to go to our utilities. We're going to open Airport Utility. We're going to wait for it to load. You click on your airport and you hit edit. I've blocked out my info. But then we want to hit network. Network should be set to DHCP and NAT. And we're going to click plus to add, add a description of your computer. And you want to reserve by MAC address and you post the MAC address that you saved from the first step. Now we can put whatever address we want in there. I'm going to go ahead and put it something a little higher than two. Anything between the range that gives you 2 to 200 is fine. Now you want to remember that address. Now we're going to do port forwarding. So we need to add a port. We're going to do personal web sharing. We want to set the ports to the default uh, that Mumble gave us. So that's 64738 in this instance. If these ports don't work, then you're going to replace those four with your own. And we set that IP address to the one that we picked above. And we have, remember to hit update and continue. And then your um, router will restart. You can check that your ports are open by going to canyouseeme.org and typing in the port that you used and check your port. And it'll say success or not success. If you don't have an airport extreme or you want to just make a static IP address, not always connect to the same one, you want to go to your network preferences. Uh, click on your Wi-Fi tab, TCP IP, and you want your router number. That's going to be your router's sort of home page, so you want to save that. Click OK. Go to your locations. Edit location. This will allow you to change between automatically joining whatever with whatever IP address and then using your static IP. So we create a new location for your static IP. Oh, mine's done the wrong one. Let's go back. Okay, static 3, so this is my new one. Advanced TCP IP, and I want to set it to use DHCP with manual address. So now I'm going to use my router number from before, and I can change that last digit. And we know the range is between 2 and 200, so I want to set something outside of that 200 range on my router. You may have to look up your router for specific details. Next, we get the best part. We get to download Mumble and the server. The server is called Murmur. Uh, so we want the newest stable release. In this case, it's 1.2.4 for Mac. And we also have to remember to download the server because they're not bundled together. They used to be, but not now. So there's my first download, and I go back and download the server. Next, we're going to install them both in our Applications folder. So for the first one, you double-click it for the server. It opens a folder. I'm going to drag that folder to my Applications folder. And now that you'll, if we zoom in, you'll see there it is. And I'm going to go ahead and change the name just to make it simpler to give terminal commands. I'm going to just call it Murmur. So now, and you can see there's my Murmur contents. Now we need to install Mumble. Mumble, you just click and drag it to the Applications folder that the application gives you. And there it is. Mumble's in my folder next to Murmur. The next thing we want to do is open the murmur.ini file. So you go back to your Murmur folder in Applications, you open the INI, and with text edit if it doesn't have an application specified. And then there's a few things we want to look at. First is the welcome text. It says, Welcome to this server running Murmur. Uh, that's going to appear when somebody logs into your server, so I'm going to say welcome to epicness running Murmur. And, and if this goes too fast, I have it all written in a Google Doc too. Enjoy your stay. Nah, we'll just put yes. And if your port is different from the port listed there, then you want to change that port number. That's the default port, so that's what I'm using. Password, you need to set a password to join your server, unless you want it to be public. If you want it to be public, you leave that blank. 
bandwidth I left uh, as the default users. I'm not overrun by people, so I'm going to set mine to 20. And that's pretty much all that we need to change. We can change this next register name. If you want to change the register name, again, the hashtag means that it doesn't use it, so you need to delete the hashtag before it to make it use it. And we're going to go ahead and change mumble server. This is the name that your root server will appear. So I want my root server to be epic server. Next is the scary part. We're going to go to utilities, open terminal, and we're going to tell it to run murmur for the first time. So we tell it by entering that command, uh, slash application, slash murmur, slash murmured. That's the path. Yours will be different if you didn't install it in applications or if you left the file name as it was much longer. Um, then when you press return and tell it to run, it'll spit out all of this info telling you that it's running. And it sets the password for super user, but I don't like that crazy password. I'm going to make my own. So you want to be able to remember this password. So we're going to open a new shell and type in the path and then the command dash supw for super user password and then you make your password. So I'm going to block mine out because I didn't use what I showed you. And the next step is going to be opening Mumble. The first thing you get is an audio wizard which just sets up your headphones and you can access that anytime again from the menu so if you do it wrong the first time don't worry and do have a mic and headphones plugged in makes it much nicer. The next thing is a certificate wizard. Now you can just create your own um, it's better to import one, but there's currently a glitch with importing the Mac one, so I, I just make my own. I enter my real name and real email address. That'll allow me to upgrade the certificate later. And then uh, we're going to name our server. So we're going to click Add New. We're going to create a name for it, my epic server. And address is your public IP address. This is not the static one you set earlier. So what you want to do is go to Google and say, what's my IP? And it's going to tell you what your IP is. I blocked mine out. And you copy it and then paste it into that lovely little address box and your port and create a username for yourself and click OK. Now we're going to connect. If you've used a self-made certificate, it's going to give you this error message. You just go ahead and say yes, accept my certificate. And then it's going to say wrong password because you haven't entered a password yet. You want to use the one from the .ini file, not your super user password, but the one that you set for your server. Say OK, and there it is. Now you want to register yourself. So you right click on yourself and select register and say yes, you want to register yourself, you better like your username because you'll be stuck with it on that server. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go back to the main list and we're going to set ourselves up as an admin, which involves logging in as the super user. So we're going to edit our connection currently, and instead of the username I was using, I'm using my super username. And for password, I'm going to enter the super user password. Click OK. And then when you connect as the super user, you will now see that you're no longer able to talk. See that green thing over my mouth means I can't talk. Uh, but I do have the admin privileges. So I'm going to right click on the root. If your server doesn't show up, then it's just the root. Otherwise, it's above your server name. And I'm going to hit groups, pull down the Dropbox to admin. And I want to type in my name. Mine's already in there, so I'm just going to use an example. Your username, add. Now it's in italics because it doesn't have anybody registered named your username. But Wow Savvy is registered. So I click OK. And then we're going to go back and log in as ourselves again. So I'm going to change super user to my previous, and caps matter, so make sure it's a whatever capitalization matches. I'm going to log in as wow savvy again. And now I want to check my admin privileges. So I'm going to log in and create a channel. So there I am logged in. The plus means that I'm registered on the server. And now I'm going to right click on my root or my server name and click add. And then type in the channel name. You can describe it if you want to. And click OK. And you can drag yourself in and out. You can right right click on the channel to delete it. Now, if I want my friends to come in, they have to know how to find me. So the way that you find your info is you go back to the list of servers and you click right click and click edit. And you'll see 
all of the info comes up label address port and then username they can pick one thanks for watching this is savvy signing out